winter season challenges in bioflock system and how to overcome it water temperature is a primary factor that influences both the health and the overall ecosystem of the fish so it is important to keep an eye during the winter season as temperatures begins to drop fish species are cold blooded creatures that means the fish cannot regulate their internal body temperature as the water temperature changes so does the body temperature cooler water is capable of holding more dissolved oxygen than the warm water but water if that is too cold slows the bodily function or the metabolism of most fishes which may not be desirable feed intake of fish decreases with decrease in temperature as its digestive system becomes sluggish hence it is essential to reduce the feeding rate by 50 to 75% depending on the temperature in case the temperature falls below 15 degree it is advised to stop feeding excess feed remains unconsumed and accumulates at the pond bottom which deteriorates the water quality if you have fishes in your tank during the winter season then it is advised to reduce the feeding frequency and further advised to use the lower protein diets in the feed if water becomes too cold too quickly many fish will go into shock and fall ill that would lead to a mortality fish can become stressed during the winter months leading to a health problem during winters various fungal bacterial and parasitic diseases like fin rot gill rot eus argulosis may appear in the fish if unable to manage the correct or required temperature parameters it is advisable not to start fish seeding during the winter months november to february for the zones or the area or surrounding where the temperatures fall below 16 to 18 degree during the winter season if possible all harvesting activities should be completed before beginning of winter season Let's discuss some of the option how to overcome uh, the winter temperature drops in the tank. Complete enclosed environment is one of the best option for bioflock system where you can control the temperature of the tank and the surroundings and can do a culture whole year long but these kind of setups are too expensive and mostly done by the big corporations who are into the high end fishes and commercial farming how we cover ourselves in warmer clothes during the winter so that our body heat is retained and we are kept warm similarly we have to insulate the tanks from external cold winds or fall in temperature by insulating the tank by covering it completely from top to bottom by insulating material or thick plastic sheet or tarpaulin for example we see in a greenhouse used to grow vegetables once setting up a bioflock tank a fish farmer should make a provision of shade on the top of the tank which can save the tanks from the direct sunlight and rains during the rainy season they should be able to cover tank from all sides from a plastic sheet or tarpaulin to control the temperature during the winters a moving water is always warmer than the static water therefore recirculating the water in the tank using the alf system which will keep the water warm and aerated
You can use the water heater for maintaining the temperature in the tank, but before that you need to calculate your electric consumption for the operational cost feasibility. You can also use a halogen light, but before that you need to calculate your electric consumption for operational cost feasibility. Temperature of water, surface water is colder than the bottom layer. The fish prefers to live in the bottom zone when the temperature drops. You can increase the level of water by 1 feet or 2 feet during the winter time. But as you are aware that the tarpaulin tank heights are only 4 feet, therefore increase the level of water accordingly. It has been observed that if the tank is built at at least 2 to 3 feet below the ground levels, then the water is more warmer below than the water on the surface. This is due to the tank is naturally insulated by the surrounding soils, but there will be a challenge in setting up a sludge exit system. This is a concept which has not been yet fully incorporated in biofluor system as it has its own pros and cons.